boys and girls, it's Miss Allison, and I hope you're having a great day. I'm so excited today because we are starting a brand new series called Level Up. Raise your hand if you love to play video games. Video games are so fun. On the count of three, I want you to yell out your favorite video game. Ready? One, two, three. Those sound so fun. I bet some of you like to play racing games, puzzle games, and even building games. There are so many fun games to play. This month, we are gonna be learning about the death and resurrection of Jesus. Every week, you'll be leveling up your faith in Jesus, just like you do when you go on to a new level in a video game. In our Bible story today, we are going to learn about a scary choice that Jesus had to make before Jesus left the earth and went to heaven. But before we watch our Bible story today, let's stand up and worship with our family. trees are pointing to you the birds are busy singing cause they know it's true ooh, ooh, ooh. they know it's true god made me god loves me i know it's true god made me god loves me too god made me god loves me i know it's true god made me god loves me too Hey kids, have you ever played a fun game on a grown-up's phone or computer before? There are so many fun games to play. There are racing games and puzzle games and adventure games. Sometimes there are scary things in those games, but we don't need to be afraid of them, do we? No way! It's just a game. It can't hurt us. We don't need to be afraid of a silly game. But sometimes we have to do scary things in real life. Did you know Jesus once did something really scary? Jesus came to earth to save the world. But before he could save you and me, he had to do something really hard. He had to die and then come back to life. That's a big scary job that only Jesus could do. As the time drew close for this to happen, Jesus began to feel sad and scared. So Jesus asked a few of his friends to go with him to a garden called Gethsemane so he could pray. Wouldn't you feel sad too if you knew something bad was going to happen soon? Jesus knew this was God's plan and that God had everything under control, but he was still a little bit afraid. When Jesus prayed, he asked God if there was any way the world could be saved without him having to die. He prayed three times, and every time he finished his prayer with, God, do what you know is best. Even though he was scared, Jesus trusted that God had a plan for what would happen next. Have you ever had to face something hard? Maybe your family moved to a new town, 
you started a new school, or someone you loved got sick. It's okay to be scared or sad when those things happen, but the good news is that when those feelings come, we can talk to God about them. We can ask for God's help, and like Jesus, we can say, God, do what you know is best. Even when he had to do something really scary, Jesus trusted God. And when we're sad or scared, we can trust God too. and girls let's go over a few questions from our Bible story today question one why was Jesus in the garden today because he wanted to go and pray to God all right boys and girls question two was Jesus afraid when he was in the garden yes he was but he always knew that God was with him all right question three how many times did Jesus pray to God in the garden? Three times. All right, boys and girls, this is our last question for today. Did Jesus trust God in the garden today? Yes, he did. Jesus said, God, do what you know is best. Boys and girls, we all go through scary things in our lives, and it's okay to be sad when we're going through those times. Maybe when a loved one is sick, or when you can't go to school, or when a friend moves far away. Remember that Jesus went through scary times in his life too, but Jesus made the ultimate sacrifice for you and for me. Jesus trusted God that he had a plan for him to save the world and we can also trust God when we go through scary things in our lives. We can talk to God just like Jesus did in the garden. Hello boys and girls, it's Miss Kendra and I'm so excited to see you this week. So this week we started our new series and so that means we have a new big idea this week. So does anybody remember what the big idea is? It's that Jesus trusted God. So let's put some actions to it, okay? So let's do Jesus in sign language and trust it in the point of the sky and go God. So Jesus trusted God. Okay, let's do it again. Ready, boys and girls? Ready? Jesus trusted God. Good job. Okay, one more thing before we go, boys and girls, is we have a new memory verse this month. So let's do it together. So let's fix our eyes on Jesus, our pioneer and perfecter of faith. Hebrews 12, 2. So let's do it again, okay? So let us fix our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of faith. Hebrews 12, 2. Good job, boys and girls. Boys and girls, I had so much fun hanging out with you this week. And I can't wait to see you guys next week. Have a great day. Bye.